Oh, sh that's my bad. That's my bad. Welcome back to Thick Rift Thursday. I have been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom lately. I have major Zelda brain right now. I looked out my window and I saw a building really far off in the distance. And my first reaction was to open my Sheikah slate, put a beacon on it, and then jump out my window and paraglide towards it. So uh, that's where we're at. So I'm feeling kind of heavy today. I have this riff that I wrote uh, a few months ago. It was going to be a demo for Eurobase 3, but I ended up going with a different song for that. But this riff is kind of crushing. And I've got some heavy riff ideas to go after that too. Again, this is how a lot of my songs start. They start as riff salads and then I arrange them into a coherent piece of music. But right now, let's just throw the ingredients into a big bowl and see what happens. <laughs> All right, so I have three little riff nuggets right here, okay? I've got this. which is just like a whammy pedal breakdown kind of thing. And then I've got this, which is kind of just like a genty, jumpy little, fun little riff. And then I've got this, which is a variation on this first and only developed idea so far. Yeah, so those are my three little little idea nuggets, and I'm gonna try to expand on these. And I think I wanna start with this, this one right here. And try to turn that into something first. So let's see what I can do. Maybe through this riff, I could hint at that whammy pedal riff. A little bit of foreshadowing. By the way, if you guys want to download these Archetype Nolly presets, go to architecttigerstudios.com and you can also contact me about my mixing, mastering, producing services. The link is in the description. That's sick. Okay. Okay, I think I have my, I think I have it. Let me see. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I like the slide down. That's cool. Three, four. hard it's just so fast to do it all down picked but i want to do it so i can get that like gritty tight sound oh it's hard it's hard i i don't know why i'm trying to do it in one take it's literally just a scratch take just comp it together dumbass all right we got the scratch take in there let's get the drums Ooh, could not keep up could not keep up hold on There we go, that was pretty good. Yeah, switch to the China for the last bar. That's cool. Different crash there, yeah. If 
I get rid of that kick. I think the kicks are a little bit off. Got to do. Put another one there. Put a couple snares there at the end to kind of get us out of that. Okay, I think I want it to repeat twice, but I want the second ending to be different. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me play that in a little better. Yep, there we go. And then Tom. Two, two floor Tom smashes right there. That would be good. And let's get those off of each other so it's flammed a little bit. Yep, perfect. Nice. I think that'll transition into another part in a cooler way while also referencing something that happens. Jesus Christ. That's my bad. I had the input set wrong. The input was like to my microphone. Anyway, yeah, Jesus. What was I even saying? Yeah, I was saying that's, I think that's a cool way to end it while also referencing um, a part of the song that happened earlier or a part of the song that hasn't happened yet and you're kind of teasing that uh, part of the song. That could also be cool. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We're just making a riff salad right now. All right, let's try to get good takes. You know the drill. We get the scratch take, we put in the drums, then we get the good takes. Two, three, four. <sighs> Here's where the guitarist ego comes into play where I wanna get the entire thing in one take. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. Okay, we're gonna have to punch it in. We're gonna have to punch it in, cause I want it to be tight. Like I want it to be as tight as possible. Oh my God. It's just like when I, I do like a little anticipation, like there's a there's a 16th note before the next. And I'm doing like a little mute there, like a, a little scratch. And it's just like one little extra 16th note scratch that I have to do that like really is so difficult. Oh my Lord. Okay, that was pretty clean. I just, I think I'll just have to like copy and paste some scratches in there. That's it. Hell. Why did I start playing that in octave below where I was supposed to play it? Weird things happen in your brain when you're trying to get a take. Also, did I just say f***ing hell in the middle of a, in the middle of messing up a take? I've been watching too much Ted Lasso. <laughs> I've been watching, I've been watching too much Ted Lasso. Oh, that was a great take. 
a little bit of timing issues, but like the, the f attitude is there. That sounded great. Sometimes you can get away with that. Sometimes you can get away with like some timing issues. If the quality of the, like of each note is really good, you can get away with timing issues. Like you can just quantize it. You can just cut it up and edit, but like you gotta play them right. You know what I mean? Also, if you're recording vocals and it's pitchy, but like the attitude is there and the vibe is there, that's the take. You can fix tuning issues, but like if, if you're recording vocals and like you're pitchy, that's like the least of your worries. Anyway, yeah, a small fraction of the people that watch my videos are vocalists probably. <laughs> Comment down below what is your what your primary instrument is and what kind of music you make cuz I'm interested. YouTube analytics can give me all kinds of all kinds of data, you know, the age range of the people watching, the gender, the the parts of the world, but like I want to know if you're a guitarist, if you're a singer, if you're a bass player, if you're a drummer, if you're a flautist, a gent harp player. <laughs> Uh, avant-garde shoegaze oboe player. All right, that's enough out of me. Yeah, I'm gonna be editing this riff because first of all, I want it to sound sick and like perfect, but also, God, it's fast. <laughs> nice, I can do that. That was pretty good. It's gonna be the same there, except all of those are up an octave. So like. It took me like 20 minutes to remember how to program slides in Eurobase, but we're there. Now I gotta program the bends. It's like like this. Very nice. Dude, that's awesome. All right, I gotta edit these guitars up a little bit. man just a quick edit on this like small little section all right there we have it we got a riff yeah that's nasty that's gonna be, that's a great addition to the riff salad so far. I think next week I'll continue with this same riff salad and work on one of these riffs that I got super, super quick scratch takes for. After that, maybe we'll start arranging, start trying to get an actual song out of this. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Thick Riff Thursday. Tag me in your thick riffs on Instagram and TikTok at Nick Broomhall Music. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I will see you guys next time. Peace.